Hey everyone, it's Katie from Bobby Hair Studio. And uh, my hair and my extensions need so much care. Look at this. I have been really, really under the weather for the past week and um, I've needed to take like a bunch of like really hot showers to help like clear my sinuses, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it's been wreaking havoc on my hair. Look at, it's so bad, it's embarrassing. So I went out to the store today and um, this is a non-sponsored video by the way. All these products I purchased and I'm gonna do an honors review myself. I'm gonna start with this Chi Color Illuminate Dark Chocolate uh, Color Depositing Conditioner. And that's gonna be to kind of put some, <laughs> some life back in these extensions. Oh my God. And then um, we've all seen the buzz about this color wow dream coat stuff. I think that this is gonna be really great for my extensions. It's going to hopefully um, make them super shiny and soft. And like, oh, I was I was gonna say they feel soft, but they don't they don't really feel soft. Um, so let's just see what these two products do to my hair today. And uh, what I'm excited about with this is that it's kind of like a mini keratin treatment where it's supposed to last like three to four washes. And uh, it's gonna make my hair hopefully super shiny and humidity resistant and just make these extensions look a lot better than they are. So uh, stick around. So before I get started, I am gonna get changed because I can't wear this while I am coloring my hair chocolate brown. So I'm just gonna get some warm water started here and I'm show you how to do this because it is such an easy way to color extensions. It's like, it's foolproof. It's, it's amazing, I love it. And um, it doesn't use as much product, which I really appreciate about this. And it's pretty simple. You can do this if you like to color your hair and you like to use a direct deposit color. Uh, you might wanna add this to your regular routine because it is just so much easier than using up so much product and applying it and it gets patchy. This is a great way to do it. Just a little bit of warm water. Not too much, I'll add more later. And then a decent amount of this color right in here, as you can see. I'm just gonna whisk it around. I don't wanna have any clumps. Now, luckily this cheek color actually seems to be very liquidy. It's not really thick. Some colors are very, very thick in their consistency, which can result in a lot of patchy color work. This literally looks like, like brownie batter. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add more wa warm water to it now. You just go bit by bit, slowly letting the color kind of like melt into the warm water, no clumps. We do not want any clumps in this. And now we've got like a good amount of water here. I'm gonna whisk it once more just for good measure. shower and towel dry this and let it sit for a few minutes. I did apply the color mask a second time in the shower because even though it says it's like levels four to six on the back of the tube, I don't really feel like it's a level four to six. Like I feel like when this dries up, it's going to be a lot more like a level six because my, uh, my darker color up on the top is an ashy level five, which I mean, for some people it'll look more like a level four. For some it'll look more like a level five, but I just feel like this color didn't go as dark as I wanted to, but it did darken it up a decent amount, so like that's okay. But anyways, um, overall it smells really, really good. It has a pretty color. It's a very like warm tone, and you can see as like the hair is kind of starting to dry, like the color that it's going to be, 
more of like a mahogany color. It smells amazing. It feels very heavy in the hair though once I've rinsed it out. So now let's do the color wow. Now this says to divide into sections, spray each section liberally, comb through, blow dry each section using tension. Okay. glossy. She's very glossy. She's heavy. Let's do the last section. Okay. Okay. That, you can so see the line between my hair and the extension still. It's, I get it. It's fine. It's still there. Oh yeah, like, okay, there's nothing on my, nothing on my bedside table. Okay, way shinier. She still needs to be like curled and styled to blend. But I feel like overall, that's a big improvement on like what I started with today, hey? Got a, like a much richer color from like the Chi mask and the hair is so much glossier. Look at that. Okay. Y'all made a believer out of me. Wow. That's, that's pretty. Um, I would say that this product definitely makes my hair feel a little heavy. And I have very, very, as you can tell, lightweight, fine hair that gets greasy very fast. So we're going to see how long I can hold out before washing with this in my hair. But overall, I like the product. I'm definitely gonna use it again. And I'm going to use that Chi uh, color depositing mask again as well, because I do find that it gives me um, a nice warm color deposit, which I like. Um, if you're not into warm colors, definitely don't use it because this is definitely like, like I would say like a reddish tone, but I'm not mad about it. But this color wow definitely definitely adds a lot of shine makes my extensions kind of like blend a little bit better with my hair when it comes to the texture of it but does feel a little heavy so we'll find out in a few days what that's like for me but definitely would recommend and would definitely use on my clients as well let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh yeah i'd love to know all of your thoughts on what i did today and remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future